We like to know the story before we start work on any animation, because the story forms the basis of the brief. The story should tell us who the audience is, what they need to know, the key points that need to be made, and the animation objective. The script can then be written to tell that story, which, when honed to a concise read, we then take and begin to list all the images we will need to draw. This list of potential illustrations is then grouped into sections we call sheets, containing multiple illustrations, a bit like the chapters in a book. We still like drawing on paper, and begin by producing a number of illustrations that fill each sheet with a series of simple images as described in our list beside the script. We will work quite quickly, producing rough sketches from memory or using other visual references during this process. We may create or use underlays to provide a specific visual reference and trace over the top of these onto a fresh sheet where this helps us draw the images needed to support the script. These sheets are then scanned into Photoshop or a similar image editing package where we crop out each element within the sheet, remove any background information from around the illustration and save each as an individual PNG file, number these sequentially and with a visual tag so that each can be imported separately in numerical order into VideoScribe. PNG files are used because the illustration is saved on a transparent background before being exported to Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator for the most important element in any VideoScribe project. This is the creation of the SVG file versions of our PNG illustrations that will be imported into VideoScribe for the final assembly of our animation. This is the most laborious element of the whole animation process, but it is also the most important, because it's how it is done that dictates the realism of the final hand-drawn effect in VideoScribe. The key to Inkscape and the value of the output from it is in the thickness of the line and the accuracy of the path that is created over the top of the imported PNG illustration. The vector line that one creates is the actual path that the pen will follow in the final animation. We therefore try to trace the same route we originally took in creating the illustration on paper and match it as closely as is practical given the amount of time that this can take. We then make this vector path wider than the line it has been drawn over. We check and edit this by making the vector path semi-transparent so that it appears light grey against the original black line of the PNG illustration underneath. We alter the line thickness in the path that was first drawn to achieve a smooth track that completely covers the line below before making it completely transparent and saving it as an SVG. Getting the right path thickness can be quite tricky when the lines in the illustration are quite close to one another and the vector line path, if made too wide, risks revealing multiple lines as it travels and so makes the final effect in VideoScribe a little less realistic. Once all our PNG images have been doctored and saved as SVGs, we can open the VideoScribe application and begin to create our whiteboard animation. We will also have recorded the supporting audio track by having our original script read by a professional voice and save this as an MP3 audio file. We love VideoScribe because by the time we get to this stage, the project is almost complete and Sparkle software does all the hard work. It is simply a matter of creating a new scribe, importing everything we have previously created in sequence, adjusting the timings of the hand-drawn reveal or the position of the illustrations on each sheet, and timing these to suit the audio track. For more complex animations, such as this one, we will save each video scribe sheet as a .mov at 1280 by 720 pixels and use these as individual elements within Motion or After Effects to create an animation that has all the engagement of a whiteboard video reveal, but with additional visual effects or video details that help make the story more effective and memorable.